Can you recognize this knife? No. One of the witnesses saw you using this knife. What you got to say for this? You better tell me the truth. Yala, I use this knife to slash on his arm. The other gang members were also interviewed. All implicated Muhammad Heikel. So, you want to tell me who are your friends? I have enough evidence against you. You better tell me the truth. No. Finally, the accused admitted they were involved in the crime. Yes, I with my friends. A few suspects were still at large, but finding them proved to be a tricky task, as SIO Jager only had their nicknames as leads to work with. Checking through the phones confiscated from the five accused, she found two names that matched the nicknames. She requested the phone numbers be screened. Excuse me. You're from Central yes. Police. Your name is? Mohamed Shafiq. Please come out. We suspect you to be involved in a case of rioting. You are under arrest. Hello. Can I speak to Mohamed Sidi? Yes, speaking. Okay, I'm a senior investigation officer, Jaga, from Central Police. Were you with your friend? SIO Jaga then called Mohamed Shakir to assist in the investigation, and he agreed. In the fight at War Memorial? No, I'm not involved. Your friends all already confess. You are under arrest. So, do you want to tell me the truth? Were you involved in the fight? Hi, I'm from Central Police. Yeah. Do you know who is Stephanie? Are you Stephanie's mother? Yes, I am. Uh, is Stephanie also known as Gemo? Yeah. But why are you looking for him? Oh, he's a suspect in the case of writing. Huh? Where could we possibly locate him? He's usually with his two friends. Upon checking Mohammed Shafiq's phone, SIO Jaga found another nickname. Hello, hi. Yes, I'm from Central Police. Huh? Are you the subscriber of 9674247? Yes. What's happening? Uh -huh. Are you Mr. Abby? No, he's my younger brother. Oh, okay. Is he at home now? No, he's not at home. He's at home. Oh, I'll give you my name card. Ask him to give me a call once he's back. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you. The seven boys were charged in court for rioting with a dangerous weapon. Mohammed Hairi, Mohammed Haikal, and Mohammed Sakir, who had used the weapon during the assault, were convicted and sentenced to three years reformative training. Indra Haikal, Abdul Hamir, Mohammed Sufyan, and Mohammed Shafiq were convicted of punching and kicking the victims and sentenced to between 18 and 24 months supervised probation. All were first-time offenders. Two other suspects remained at large, but the police officers' persistence and patience finally paid off. Mohammed Effendi, nicknamed Mok, was found and arrested on 14th February 2008. Mohammed Effendi admitted to using a weapon during the assault. He was convicted and sentenced to three years reformative training. The last suspect, Noor Bahri, nicknamed AB, avoided police pursuit by staying away from home. But the long arm of the law finally caught up with him when two police officers picked him up during a police check. Thank you, sir. Today, HQ, over. Upon screening, the officer found that this man, Noor Bahri, was wanted by the central police for a case of rioting. Sir, can you please stand up? Can you please stand up, sir? I want you to put your things over there. Please, thank you. And your hands on the wall. Anything, Now, 
slowly, can you please put your head on the wall? Yes. Bari had previous records of rioting and was convicted and sentenced to three years, eight months imprisonment and nine strokes of the cane. My advice to the youth out there is don't join a gang uh, because you will tend to regret and it will spoil your life. You don't have anything good for your future. Instead, you will end up being in prison, beaten up. Maybe you end up in a hospital or something like that. And the people that will be there is your family, not the gang members. They won't be there for you. If you move as a gang, you'll be treated as one and charged as one. In this case, all nine boys were charged with rioting with a deadly weapon and were convicted in court. Anyone found guilty of rioting with a dangerous weapon can be sentenced up to 10 years in prison with caning. After the break, troopers to deal with public order and security concerns. <laughs>